What's up, YouTube? Insane Tacos here, bringing you another Let's Play, a new Let's Play, in the form of Lords of the Fallen. I downloaded this a while ago, but I didn't even, I actually totally forgot I had it. So, this is gonna be fun. I have not started a new game yet, uh, a game yet. Ooh. Brawling. Prayer, Rage, Quake, and Ram. Already uninterested. Deception. Prayer, Shift, Stab, Mimic. A phase of magic following you, copying your moves, and repeating the damage you've done. Hmm. Or Solus. Prayer, shelter, days, or punishments. Eye for an eye. Enemy attacks are being revenged by stunning the opponent. Days, a powerful force that inflicts fear upon the enemy, slowing them down and lowering defenses. Shelter, a protective shell that highly increases all types of defense and mirrors the incoming damage. The art of brawling is to overwhelm your opponent with pure force and mighty spells. Deceiving the enemies and injuring them beyond recovery is the main focus of the deception magic type. Magic taught by scholars contains mostly defensive spells to heal and protect yourself. Okay, screw solace. So it's either between brawling and deception. Now... <clears throat> I usually like to go for more brawling um, stances, I guess, but stab, a blood-seeking supernatural assassin that sprints towards its prey to severely damage it or take its life? I'm definitely going for, de for a deception now. Alright, let's see here. Mostly worn by thieves and scoundrels, this leather armor allows for high mobility. A set of daggers are simple but very fast and deadly weapons. A buckle shield, mostly used to counter attack the enemy, rounds off this kit. Oh, okay. So I can either be a, a rogue, a cleric, or a warrior. A set forged by and for the Battle Monks of the North, the balance between mobility and defense coupled with a formidable blunt weapon and high quality shield makes this a solid choice for an all-rounder or a warrior. The standard gear given to pardoned prisoners recruited to the army. Steel armored plates will give the soldier exceptional defense at the cost of agility. Screw you! A purpose-built sword and shield will complement this set. Okay, gotta go for the rogue then. Strength 8, Vitality 8, Faith 8, Endurance 11, Agility 11, Luck 3. Ugh. Swift and Agile, rogues are children of the shadows. The only thing their enemies see before their death is the lightning fast swing of two blades. Yeah! Alright, gonna have to go for it. Oh, excuse me. Some of the weapons are so heavy that it's impossible to use them one-handed. Yeah. Wait. Even if you have a high enough strength? Or was that one of the stats? Hmm. Ah, you... Bastard. Wait. Forgot to set the subtitles on again. Okay. Good. Post promo shift. What's that? Auto lock. Switch target after kill. Auto lock onto enemies. Hmm. Okay. That works. 
Oh, please don't tell me I'm playing against that guy. Fallen I chose God, to be a rogue for, for a reason. Of worlds. Hear my vow. <laughs> oh, I am playing against that guy, aren't I? <laughs> Ooh. He did. I have the power. Hear my vow. My vow of defiance. That is an awesome mask. Well, hello, Dark Side. Doomsday. Why did I say Dark Side? Brain, please. Stop eating so many gorilla dicks. The monastery's ahead. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. Antanas. I hope it's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. So is that my Harkin? Ugh. Alright, still not playing yet. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. It's quiet. Too quiet. Even for a monastery. Hold on. Monasteries are supposed to be quiet. And... It's also not quiet at all, considering... What are you? What are you? Fighting a Rogar is... Why a challenge? To learn the basics, approach the Marauder just ahead of you using LS. So that's not a Rogar? You don't need help now, just press B. I would imagine fighting that thing would be quite a challenge. I love how it's just standing there w being so courteous. It's like, yeah, okay, now take your time. Light! Light! Come back! I'm out. Oh, oh. The first rule of combat is focus. To focus your senses and camera on your opponent, press the right stick now. Notice the two brackets that appear around enemies' HP and a sound cue. This strategy is very often forgotten by unexperienced warriors. Oh shit! Enemy behavior is bound by the same rules as yours. They can be staggered like the Marauder now. This is the perfect window for a strike. Try a fast hit with RB. Weapons have different movesets, meaning not all strikes fit all time windows. Well then. Evasion is also a perfect viable strategy, but needs the right timing. Tilt the left stick to either side, left or right, and holding it, press A. Tip, while you are on the ground during a roll, you are invincible. Yay! But be aware that you are not whilst getting up and down. Great! Oh! That 
thing almost hit me. Heavy strikes work similarly to fast ones. They just take more time in exchange for more damage. Press RT to really hurt the Marauder. Mm. You can follow up the next heavy attack with RT now. Go on it's safe. The Marauder won't recover in time. I would hope not. For the remainder of the game, you will need to judge the risk yourself. Yeah. Wait. He was already dead. Why did I need to follow up a heavy attack? Second rule of combat is management. The orange bar at the bottom of the screen is your energy. Keep tracking it while fighting. It regenerates, but most actions consume it. By the way, congratulations on your victory. Thank you. Press A to start your adventure. All three bars at the bottom. Red health, orange energy, and blue magic can be leveled up. Yay! Wait, what if I don't want to press A? Uh, B? Y? X? RT? RB? LB? LT? Uh... Oh, what if I just went through the whole game just with the management, uh, just with the management window up on screen the whole game? Who would hate me? Oh, come on! Oh, do I have to get rid of the window? Aww. These things keep coming. We fight back, but... Too many of them. Achievement. Sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting spat on us. The saliva hit my eye. It burned. And it burns deeper into me. Oh. Dude. I feel bad. Ah! I will have that light. Come on, little buddy. Come on. You want you know you want to get caught by me. Come on. Get your ass over here. Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh shit. Where's the jump button? Ah! So I can't get it then. It's locked. No shit. You're bleeding. How do we find Antanas? Are there any survivors? How do we open the door? You're bleeding. You're still losing blood, Kaslo. The Rogar got you good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. Oh, cool. So, I can, I can choose all the uh, uh, dialogue options. How do we find antennas? The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. Dun. Are there any survivors? So far, I've seen only corpses. No survivors. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. So if it's locked, how do we open the door? There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps, or a key. If that light is the key, I'm going to be mad. Oh, later dude. Ah. How the hell did all that debris get down there in the last 15 minutes?
Oh, I thought he was gonna kick the door down. Uh-oh. Careful, not all enemies of Rogar, but all have their own behavior patterns. For example, some are blind, so you don't always have to fight them. You might want to remain quiet. Don't hear me, don't hear me. Screw it, I'm gonna fight. Potion will get your part of your health back. Ow. Asshole. Ooh. Uh oh. Staying quiet is not only good for avoiding combat, it can give you a head start. For many fighters, it means the difference between loss and victory. I don't care! I'm fighting you! Whoa! Oh! Ew! Ah! Okay! Get away from me! Fucking zombie! Mmm! Shit! So, how do I. Dumb. Press to cycle favorite potions, hold to use selected item, press to cycle offhand weapon, hold to interact, press to cycle spells, hold to use selected spell, press to it. I can jump! Well, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this here, hopefully I can save it. Or hopefully it automatically saves. So... So what's my last save? Well... Anyway... Stay tuned for the next video. Bye! What's up, YouTube? Ah, shit!